But right now these are at nine and three quarters. Uh, my plan is to cut one side and get a nice clean edge again and then spin it around, reset the, the fence and cut the other side. And that will, first cut will be nine and a half. The second cut will be uh, nine and a quarter. Also, as you can tell, I've got lots of safety gear on my saw. I've got my table saw buddies. Once you roll under, they, they kind of resist kickback. I've got my guard on. Everything's set. I've got a brand new blade. Uh, I also have a zero clearance insert in. Uh, that helps to minimize chip out. So uh, let's get ready to cut. getting ready to start our next part where we're cutting down all of our shelves and our top and bottom to 38 and a half inches um, so I'm going to do that on the miter saw I've already got my my outfeed fence set up so that when I butt it up against there I've got a positive stop at 38 and a half make and I got a fine tooth blade here make a nice clean cut uh, I've got dust collection um, hooked up to kind of help with the dust We're getting ready to cut our sides down to the finished length of 82 inches. Uh, just refer to the plans to double check that. That's why having a set of drawings really kind of helps with the memory. Uh, we've already cut down all of our shelves and our top and bottom pieces uh, to 38 and a half inches. So now that uh, I'm ready to cut that, what I did was I doubled the, the sides up, clamped them all together. If you can see the clamps, I uh, got my uh, clamp here on the miter saw engaged as well so we're going to cut them both and that way I know that they're the exact same length I've checked the end uh, down here so this is how I'm going to make one cut and end up with two perfect pieces Now we're ready to start making the rabbits on the sides and the top and bottom of the bookshelf so that uh, we can put a back panel into a nice recess and that will help really square and uh, make the, the case very solid. to make some uh, shelf pin holes here for adjustable shelves of I've got a uh, Craig uh, you know shelf pin hole system it's a little jig uh, all your little parts store on the back so it's really convenient for me I bought this a while back when it was on sale um, you get this little special pin and uh, a little special drill bit that you set the depth and then uh, you make a spacer block, adjust, cut the block so that uh, you know it's the right, right depth for the holes. And what that does, that gives you a nice reference point for this side. And you put it on this side with the, it's got a, it's got a fence here and uh, you just slide it up and now I can drill holes on both sides. Um, the pin is for if I want more holes than just the six that are there's six holes right here. If I want more than six, I can drill five of them, drop this special pin in, and uh, continue on up. So I'm going to focus in uh, the next segment on me actually drilling the holes, and you'll see how this works. As you can see, we've got six perfectly placed holes for our shelves. And we've got a couple pins in here just to show you how easy it is just to move them around. Okay guys, we're up to our next step here. Um, we're going to be uh, 
making some pocket hole screws with the uh, Craig pocket hole jig. Uh, this is a K2000. Uh, it's an older model. I picked it up some years ago before I even knew what pocket holes were. Um, so if anybody out there doesn't know what a pocket hole is or the Craig pocket hole jig, uh, you just do a quick search and uh, there's a wealth of information on them. Uh, this is a great joint. Uh, it's easy for uh, somebody who's just starting out but for somebody who's been doing it a while, uh, it's just a quick, easy um, fastening system. Uh, it's, it's about the strongest joint, uh, you know, for two butt joints and a screw that I've ever seen. So uh, let's go ahead and I'll, I'll make a couple of them and uh, we'll see how it works. Now I'm getting ready to drive my Craig screws. I've got my right angle clamps holding the top piece and now I'm going to drive the screws in with some pocket hole screws. Okay, you saw I uh, put in some pocket hole screws uh, into our shelves. Uh, I figured uh, there's plenty of people who showed pocket hole screws being assembled, so I just touched over that real quickly. I used a three quarter inch thick little block here as a spacer to put the bottom shelf in. Um, so I've got our top and our bottom on one side, Craig screwed in, and then we're going to be putting in a middle shelf, and uh, then we're going to be cutting and fitting the back. <laughs> 